Welcome to our mathematics lesson this afternoon. We would like to continue with what, uh, where we left yesterday when we were revising this paper. I hope you all have this paper with you and can follow up the, the revision from number to number. Today we begin with question number 30, question number 34. Question number 34 says, a pair of shoes was bought at 500 shillings, that's the buying price, and later sold at 625 shillings. What was the percentage gain? Percentage gain or percentage profit? Now, we need to know what we are given. We have the, the buying price, the buying price, it was bought at buying price at uh, um, 500 shillings and later sold, that is the selling price, later sold at uh, 625 shillings and they are asking us to find the gain. The gain is called the profit, the profit, percentage profit. We need to know the profit in shillings, profit in shillings. That's what you need to know here. Um, and then, after knowing the profit in shillings, we'll know percentage profit. Profit percent. We will know percentage profit. And so let us go on with the calculation. Let us go on with the calculation. And so we first of all find profit. Now profit, profit is equal to the selling price minus the buying price. The selling price minus the buying price. Note that SP stands for the selling price and the BP stands for the buying price. And so here, the buying price is uh, 600, the selling price is 625 shillings and the buying price is 500 shillings. And the difference is the profit. 5 minus 0 is 5. 2 minus 0 is 2, 6 minus 5 is 1. And so the profit in shillings, profit in shillings is 125 shillings. Now we want to know the percentage profit. So percentage profit, P percent, will be equal to the profit over the buying price times 100. The profit over the buying price times 100. And the profit here is 125 shillings and the buying price is 500 shillings times 100 to represent percentage. Always put it over 1 to make it a fraction. So two zeros will cancel the two zeros there. Then by 5, 1, by 5, um, 2, and then 5, that is 25. And so percentage Profit is 25%. I hope you have understood that. Hope you have understood that. Now let's go to the next question. The next question is 35. Ian drove from Kakamega, that is from Kakamega to Kisumu, a distance of 180 kilometers in one hour. What was the speed in meters per second? And so what are we given here? We are given the distance given the distance and the distance is 180 kilometers we're given the distance we are also given the time taken time taken time taken is one hour one hour and then what are we asked we are asked to find the speed we are asked to find the speed we are asked to find the speed in meters per second. Mm -hmm. I want to ask to find the speed. The formula of finding speed. Speed is equals to distance traveled over time taken. Distance traveled over time taken. Divided by time taken. And so here speed would be the distance of 180 kilometers over time taken one hour. When you divide 180 by 1 hour, you get the speed as 180 kilometers per hour. 180 kilometers per hour. 
Yet we are asked to find the speed in meters per second. In meters per second. That means we convert the speed. We convert the speed to meters per second. Right? So we convert the speed to meters per second. This is what we are going to do. We take the speed given. The speed given from meters per second to kilometers per hour. Uh, rather, vice versa, sorry. From kilometers per hour to meters per second. Please allow me to wrap. From kilometers per hour to meters per second. We need to denote that. From kilometers per hour to meters per second. We take the speed given. The speed given. We take the speed given, that is 180 kilometers per hour, and then we multiply by 3,600 seconds that make one hour, then we divide it, we divide it by 1,000 meters that make one kilometer. And that's what you're going to do. So the speed here is 180 kilometers per hour, times 3,600 all over 1,000. Now, the zero cancels that zero, that one cancels that, this one cancels that. So we are left with um, 36 multiplied by 18. 36 multiplied by 18. Now, at 6 multiplied by 18, 3 times 8, we get 3 times 8, we get um, um, 54, carry 5, 3 times, uh, 3 times 8, 3 times 8 is equals to 24 plus uh, 5, 28, 28, 1 times 6 is 6, 1 times 3 is 3, then we add, we have 4, we have 4, uh -huh. we have 4, and then we have um, 4, we have um, 4 here, yeah. this plus that, you have 14, carry 1, we add there, and we have 6. Uh, let's, let's, let's retract ourselves, because I feel like um, there's a place we have gone wrong. And we will redo it again. We will redo it again. Right. We will redo it again. It is this place that we must repeat. It is the other way round. The other way round. Times 1000. Because it's from bigger to smaller we multiply. The other way round. Then 3,600. 3,600. And so that's what we do. So that means we erase all this. Sorry for that hitch. We erase all this. We erase all this. So that we have the speed given 180. 180 kilometers multiplied by 1,000 all over 3,600. All over 3,600. So these two zeros go with those two zeros. And so by 18, 10, by 18, 2, by 2, 1, by 2, 5. So 5 times 10, that brings us to 50 meters per second. And that becomes the answer. Thank you. We go to the next one. The next number is um, 36. Calculate uh, the area of the unshaded part. They calculate the area of the unshaded part, and the unshaded is the internal, uh, the inside, the inside rectangle. Remember, it doesn't have any 
any measurements. And so we have to know how to get the measurements. Now, to get the length of this, we take the length of the bigger one, that is 50 meters, we subtract a 10. Now, you will ask me where are we getting 10? 10 is this 5 plus that 5. We, we are removing 5 from this side and 5 from that side to get this shorter length here. And so we are removing 10. And that length becomes a, becomes a 40 meters. Uh -huh. Let's take the width. The width is of the bigger one is 40 meters. Again, we subtract 10 like we did to the length. And uh, the width becomes 30 meters. And so we find now the area of the unshaded. So area of a rectangle is equal to length multiplied by width. And the length here is 40 meters and the width is 30 meters. And then when you multiply, you will get 1,200 meters squared. That is the area of the unshaded region. The area of the unshaded region. So oh, let's go to question number 40. Simplify this um, algebraic expression. Simplify this algebraic expression. Now it is 13 x plus 17 y plus 7 x minus 8 y. We collect the like terms together. Collect like terms. Collect like terms together. And the like terms would be 13 x plus 7x then we come 17y minus 8y now we have grouped the like terms together 13 plus 7 is 20 so that is 20x 17 minus 8 that is um, 9y so the answer is 20x plus 9y so the answer remains there we go to Question 42. Question 42. Moriuki's land measures 560 meters long. On a map, he drew it as 8 meters. What scale? That means on a map, 8 centimeters represent 560 meters. 8 centimeters represent uh, 560 meters. What we do, we make sure they are in the same unit. This is a meter and that's a centimeter. So we will write 8 is to 560, then multiplied by 100 centimeters that make 1 meter so that they are both in centimeters. And that one brings us to 8 is to 56,000. 8 is to 56,000. And then, in a scale, 8 is to 56,000 is the same as 8 over 56,000. That's a scale. So, we cancel by 8, 1, and by 8, 7,000. And so, the scale would be 1 is to 7,000. Thousand. One is to seven thousand. Question forty three. Question forty three. A land measures eight hundred meters by three hundred meters. What is the area in hectares of the land? We want the area in hectares. And then, and so we find the area in meters squared, then you convert it into hectares. So area, area is equal to length multiplied by width. Remember each time you are doing a question that involves a formula, you must try the formula. And so here it will be 800 meters multiplied by 300 meters. So we take 8 times 3. 8 times 3 would be 24. Then we add the four zeros. These two zeros and those two zeros. Four zeros. Then that would become the area. That would be 200 
and 40,000 square meters. Now we convert them into a hectares. And we say if, or let's use the shortest method, from smaller to bigger, we divide. Smaller, the meter squared is smaller than a hectare. So we divide, we use B, uh, not B, we use SBD. We use SBD. Smaller to bigger, we divide. So this one brings us to 240 thousand square meters divided by 10,000 now 10,000 square meters make one hectare 10,000 square meters make one hectare so we want to cancel 240 so we cancel the four zeros with the four zeros the meter and the meter so the answer becomes 20 four hectares and you write it there that way and then the last one for today if 60 if 60 percent of a number is 300 what is 40 percent of that number now when you're given this you don't have a hundred percent so you must find hundred percent first so if you say if 60 percent is equals to 300 what about 100%? That would be 100 times 300 over 60. Now, we cancel. Then by 6, 1, by 6, 5. So 100% is 500. 100% is 500. Then we are asked, what about... Um, 40%. You want to find 40% of the number. So the number is 500. So you find 40% is the same as 100 over 100, then multiply by the number itself. So 0 goes with 0, that goes with that. So the answer becomes 4 times 50. 4 times 50, that gives us 200. The number is 200. Boys and girls, uh, I hope you've enjoyed today's revision and uh, uh, you can play it as many times as possible to be able to understand. Please follow up these lessons because they are covering for the sessions that we should have been in class. Uh, have a nice day, a nice evening and good night. Thank you.